Welcome to Community Conversations. I'm Frederick County Executive Jan Gardner, and today I'm excited to have as my guest our Director of the Office of Economic Development, Helen Profiter. Welcome, Helen. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Well, I'm excited to have you here today because we know that Frederick County is a great place to do business. So how's our economy doing? <laughs> We're doing great. I have been with economic development for 11 years and I've never been as busy and our team has never been as busy as we are right now. It's typically a seesaw of at one point you have current businesses expanding and then the seesaw changes and you have prospects who are looking to come in in Frederick. And I will tell you, we're not seesawing right now. We have both businesses expanding, small businesses growing, and prospects that are quite large looking at Frederick to be their next location. It's really pretty exciting and we really do have a thriving economy here and it's because Frederick County is a great place to live and work and do business. So can you talk a little bit about what the Office of Economic Development does? People don't really always know what you do and what kind <laughs> of services you provide to people. Mm -hmm. I, I'm giggling because we often have students who are uh, economy majors or economic majors come and say they want to do economic development. I say it's different. You know, we're not number crunchers like economists are. But what we do is we use data. We do use data to um, assist businesses um, in their decisions of where to be, where to expand, that kind of thing. Uh, we also use data to sell Frederick County, but we truly are the sales force for Frederick County, the, the entire county. So not just the county proper or where we're located in the city, but we work with Thurmont, Middletown, Brunswick, all of our areas, Urbana, um, who's not a municipality, but is hopping right now with business growth. All of those areas, we work as a team and it really does take a team to bring business here. So uh, we are the liaison to the businesses. We work with the commercial real estate agents. We work with the state of Maryland. We bring in the right players um, to get businesses to uh, locate here or those businesses that are already here, help them expand. So what kind of free services do you offer to business? So we have several free services that I hope everyone knows about. So thank you for letting me talk about it. The very first thing is PR Frederick. So PR stands for press releases. If you have press releases that you want to push out, we uh, are able to do it for all Frederick County businesses for free. So typically that would be a cost of $250 to $300 per press release, we can send it out. So if you have a new product, you have a new hire, a new employee, um, a new location here, we can celebrate that because by celebrating a business, we're celebrating all of Frederick County. And when you put it out through PR Frederick, it goes out to a much larger universe of people and uh, readers and viewers of that press Correct. release than if we just send it out to our local media. Exactly, so we really do hit a regional base. Uh, all of our businesses care about our region, so they care about uh, Baltimore Corridor and the Capital Region going down uh, through Montgomery County into Washington, D.C. They care about Virginia and Pennsylvania because we hit those markets, um, you know, location-wise to Frederick County. And, and we can do East Coast if that's something, so we can push it out to all types. So that's one free service. Another free service that we've just started is for businesses that need to really get their business pitch down pat. So there's lots of pitch competi competitions out there, and that's a good thing. But they're also, businesses need to be able to make their pitch to gain capital. So when they go to a bank, when they go to an investor, even family and friends, they need very quickly within about three minutes to be able to explain what problem their business solves and what team they've put together, the excellence behind their team, and what their plan is to grow the business in three minutes. So we've partnered with Pitch Creator out of Baltimore to help them, it's an online service for free. They can get this service, really create their pitch, and then we have a video uh, service component um, through video services through the county um, who will 
uh, videotape and edit their video so it's a really polished video. They can put it on their website, they can take it to banks, they um, can give it to uh, pitch competitions. Many of those want to see a video before you actually compete. All of that for free. And then the last service for free for all businesses is a quality of life tour. So we partner with Tourism Council um, to get a bus, put either prospective or prospective employees on the bus or your actual employees that you've already hired that may not know that much about Frederick County and tour them around Frederick County and really make them understand what's so great about Frederick County and uh, why if they haven't made the choice, well, they'll want to pick Frederick uh, or that business as their uh, uh, as their next business to work for, or if they're already working here, how to get more engaged with the community. I think that's really a nice service. Now, I also know that we've had a number of uh, new initiatives this year, and we've had some uh, new efforts to come into um, economic development. Um, so somebody just said to me this week, what you really need to do in economic development is you need to have somebody going out and marketing the county. And of course, that is what you do. You just said that's what you do is market the county. So can you speak to that? Yes. So we uh, just hired last week a business development person that just does attraction. So their job is to go out in the region and tell Frederick's story over and over and over and over and over again. Because we all know how great Frederick is, but sometimes when you leave this community, if you're in the capital region, you may not know how great Frederick County is. So we have an attraction person, uh, Matt Doyle, who has a history of sales experience. He's hitting the ground running. We also have a new employee just working with knowledge-based uh, industries. So our biotech and IT, those businesses that are growing so rapidly um, really need someone in economic development to focus on them. Right. So we have Luis uh, Rugelis, who has a history of international technology experience, who's uh, started with us last week. So new faces in economic development. Um, we have lots of new marketing um, pieces. We just put out last week a video on all of our technology companies. It really is an attraction video. So it's, if you're a technology company, why aren't you located in Frederick County? It makes sense to be here. So uh, you can see that video on our website. Uh, we also have a multitude of uh, social media. So we're on Instagram and Twitter and LinkedIn and several Facebook, and we have three different uh, uh, websites within economic development. Our main economic development website, Discover Frederick. We also have Root, which is our new building that we're a part of in partnership. And we have um, Homegrown Frederick, which is everything agriculture you would want to know. So while we're taking advantage of our opportunities in life sciences and biotech and also in all the technology and IT fields, I do think it's important that we recognize that one of our strengths is that we have a diversity of businesses here and that the jobs we've added over the last few years, which is you know over 6,500 net new jobs, really span nine different industry sectors. And we're trying to support our traditional businesses like agriculture and um, like manufacturing. Yes. So while we may be focused on some of the opportunities where things are really popping, we really are not forgetting about those core businesses that are important to our community. Now you mentioned Root. Can you tell people a little bit about Root and what Root is? Um, I'm pretty excited about Root. Well, you should be. It was your idea. So Root is, uh, the name is not an acronym. So lots of people think because we're the government, we acronym things. This is not an acronym. Root stands for every organization within the building is helping businesses grow deeper roots in our community so that uh, they prosper and thrive. Um, so that's the name Root, and on the first floor we have our Frederick Innovative Technology Center, our incubator helping startup companies really focused on technology, um, businesses at this location, um, and it, it really is a magnet for regional uh, technology companies to get a foot in Frederick County. On the next floor, we have the Chamber of Commerce doing a great job. They're our connector. So uh, it s seems like every day they have a new networking event in our building that you can come and access, meet like-minded businesses, meet uh, potential customers, that kind of thing. 
Uh, also on the second floor, we have our higher ed pieces. So we have Hood College as a location there and Crest, the Center for Research and Education in Science and Technology. Um, so workforces need to continue to get educated and higher education, you don't wanna have to drive uh, to another location to get your education. You've worked a long day, you wanna stay right here in Frederick and continue your education through Hood, through Mount St. Mary's and through Crest. So, and then on the third floor, we have economic development um, and our pitch room. So we're quite thrilled about the entire makeup of our building um, and all the synergies coming out of it. Yeah, it really is a unique collaboration. And sometimes people ask me, well, why are we doing all of this? And I think it's fundamentally important for people to have a job, to have a high quality of life. And we're really about delivering high quality of life. And, you know, uh, we know that global change is coming quickly and we need to stay on top of it. We need to make sure we have jobs here for everyone in our community and so that more people can uh, enjoy a high quality of life, support their families, not have the option to not drive down the road for a good job. And so uh, I really think economic development and having that job base is really a strength of our, an important piece of our quality of life. Correct. So I know you've done a number of other new things, so many things that we could talk about, but you've done the top 50, the top 50 Frederick uh, for the first time. Can you talk about that a little bit? I can. So we felt like it was important to know who were the businesses that were uh, the top 50 businesses. And, and the data that we looked at was how many employees you have, what square footage you have, um, the tax space that you pay, the length of time you've been in Frederick County, because that's important. And um, if you sell anything, your sales and, and how you've sustained your sales or grown your sales over the years. So we took all of that data, we came up with the top 50, and then we removed the numbers from it. Because in economic development, we don't care if you're 49 or 50 or if you're number one or number two. It is interesting though, we've gone out to see about 40 of the 50 so far this year. And all of them, the very first question they ask is, where did we land on the list? They want to know how high they are. they're so competitive by nature. They are. They are. So, so we, we do. We have a very competitive group of businesses out there. Mm -hmm. um, of the, it's a diverse group. Of the 50, about 20 of the 50 are manufacturers. So that speaks to what you were talking about with kind of our, our legacy industry of, of, of manufacturing. Um, but it's a great piece uh, where businesses are saying, we're giving this to our customer base, thank you for recognize, recognizing us. Now our customers know that we're in top 50 business in Frederick County. Um, we're giving it to our board of directors. When we're celebrating our, our employees, we're thanking our employees for making us a top 50 business. We're walking uh, to, the, to meet with the business and I'm pointing out that they have this framed up on the wall. It really is an exciting time. It really is. So, so exciting that um, our top 50 isn't going to change that much in 12 months. So we knew that ahead of time and we're planning right now for the top 50 CEOs of Frederick County. And uh, we've got that list almost uh, completed and it's a dynamic group of individuals. Yeah, I think if anybody looked at the top 50, whether it's the top 50 businesses or the soon to be top 50 CEOs, they'll really be able to see the breadth of uh, business in our community and the diversity of types of businesses that make up uh, our economy here in Frederick County. Now, our time is almost up, it goes really fast. There's lots of things I could talk to you about, but if people wanna get more information about the Office of Economic Development or read our annual report or contact you, how can they do that? So go straight to our website. You'll find out about our Facebook locations, our Twitter, our Instagram, our newsletter, all of our blogging, everything social media you can find right at our website. All right. Well, I want to thank you, Helen, and your team for the great job that you do to support our existing business uh, community, to help expand jobs, and to really attract new businesses to Frederick County. You've really done a great job, and we're blessed with the thriving economy. So thank you for joining us for this edition of Community Conversations. I hope you learned a little bit about what's happening in economic development in Frederick County. Frederick County is a great place to do business. Thank you for joining us.